this and today we'll be continuing Scum's Wish. All right, so what I assume is going to happen is Mogi and Mocha are going on a date this episode. But like everything that's currently going on, it just everything, it's like the show is trying to make everyone a bad, like everyone's bad is what it's trying to make it seem like. Besides Kanai, like, everyone's pretty much got problems. Like, I thought Mogi was good until the end of last episode, where he's not even sure of the fact that Hanabi is cheating, which she is, but he doesn't have proof, really. And he's dating someone else while he's really, really dating Hanabi. So it's like, bruh. Alright, I'm gonna start this in 3, 2, 1, web. Been on a date just once. It was back when I was in junior high. Okay. I got dressed up and went out with the boy. That was all. Thinking back on it, I'm sure it wasn't really a date, since he was all I could think about. Mm. It was sort of like so we weird. Just playing pretend. I can't even recall the name of the boy. Oof. Does he feel that way too, or was it a legit date for him? It was wow. All Okay, well... Bro! Okay, I like Mocha a lot. Today is a very important day for me. After all, I want to make sure I look the prettiest ever in my life. Yep. That's partly for him to be mesmerized. Honestly, I hope Mo Mogi just likes her. That's how I am. Everything I do, well, that sounds terrible, but. Lots of love? Okay. Is there gonna be lots of censoring this episode, boys? I guess we'll find out. Whoa, she's looking pretty. It's a clip, yeah, clip, okay. Oh my god, I thought that was Mogi for a second. This guy, bro. Really? What are you talking about? Jeez, who are you looking at? Hey, cut it out! Give it back my phone! I mean, for real, if you're on a date, you should put your phone away, you know what I mean? It's kind of weird. I just have to mess with my head. You know you want to. Really? Is that all you could ever think about? Is your head just filled with sex 24-7? Yep. That's pretty much it. I mean, I'm a man, aren't I? So, yeah. I mean, it is. Don't underestimate the sex drive. <laughs> I'm kind of glad I can't hear what he's telling her. If you tease me too much, then I'm just. Uh... Yeah, hello. Do you think it's Akane? You said we could take it slow and get to know each other. Yeah, I'll be right there. Oh, what? Sorry. I'm gonna split now. <sighs> he's leaving? Is it Akane, boys? Dude, she's so pretty. I'm so sorry. Uh, are you sure about this? Dude, she looks so good. Maybe I want to see it. You might think it's too boring. But you'll like it. Come on, let's go. Nice. Why is she acting so weird? Isn't this the moment she wanted? Go hold it. You're dating. Man, I hope they, they get along better, you know, and they actually, like, are a couple. Because she's, like, she seems so nice. She's so cool. Not a happy ending. And I don't want it. That was a cool transition. That was pretty good, huh? Really? Thank goodness. What do you mean, thank goodness? Uh, I mean, Bro, she needs to just relax. You know what I mean? Since I was the one that picked it out and everything. If it ended up boring, then it would have been the movie's fault. It's not something you should worry about. 
true that. Oh, that's so cool. I wonder how he felt about what I did. Oh! <gasps> I didn't we didn't see that part. I'm hungry. Let's get some food. Thank goodness. I'm still dreaming. <laughs> oh, dude, she's the coolest character in this entire show. Like Hanabi used to be cool, but she just seems like soulless kind of, you know what I mean? Like, kind of just dark now. Like, darkness has taken over her. I don't know. I, I don't even get what she's trying to do. Why doesn't she just tell Akane that, like, she's dating him, you know, to, like, get back at her? What kind of music she's listening to? Darkness is please someone. I don't care who. I just want you to. I want you to think I'm worth something. This is pathetic. Since when did I become this sort of woman? I know. Go back. Go back. I wanted to be with the person I love. Why, God? Why is it like this? No one sees you but me. Bro. Oh, this is going to be awkward. It's fine. See, he's no better. But I'm also kind of happy. <gasps> she left-handed? That's so cool. Armpit gang rise up. Why is this so weird? What? Right. If it's not going to happen, then I just need to give myself good memories. I can recreate the perfect What do you mean it can't happen? Playing it back over and over again. <laughs> Please. What's wrong? At least give her a hug or something. Strange. Do you realize how long it's been since you actually looked at me today? I was about to make a horrible mistake I couldn't take back. If he had rejected me when our hands touched, I would have just died. I don't get it. You're on a date. Why would he reject that? She's too in her head. I had a lot of fun today. I'm truly thankful. I'll cherish this. This memory is forever. Why can't you continue living in an endless dream that isn't real? I can make that come true by myself. And I I know. Why can't she just act normal, boys? She said that out loud? Okay, finally something. Oh my gosh. Please. Oh my gosh. Finally, you know... Okay, this is so cool. Really? Like I said, I already knew then. I knew it was all an act. I'd never be the pure princess you find in books. No. For a while now. I didn't want to hear this. No. Why are you gonna make everyone evil? Or not just? But I'm going to stop playing cute from now on. Okay. Cool. To go in this new direction. My love for Mookie should be more genuine than I'm trying to make it. It may be a front, but he's not mine. He's someone else's, and I must stop. What? He's not really anyone. Or with anyone, you know? Yeah, you just gotta be yourself. Just be yourself. What do you mean by that? Really 
sure why, but she's just so damn cute right now. She is cute. I hope what she's saying is legit. You know, just someone normal. Okay, it seems relatively normal. This is cool. Who? For who? Is this still her big brother? Ooh! She made it. Oh snap. Seriously? No, please. What do you mean you don't? Bro, oh, she's so cute. I, I really hate my breasts. Why? You won't compare them. I promise I won't. But honestly, in the end, that's not it. I'm sorry. Maybe. The reason I can't sleep with her is for myself. Same reason I can't get past it either. <laughs> but you're too important. Do you understand that? You always will be to me. Man, why can't you just stay with her? I know that already. Forget Akane, forget Hanabi. Special to you in your own warped way of thinking. I understand. I'm a sacred, an ornament that can't ever be touched. But it's dumb. I want to be touched all over by you. I don't care what happens to me. I don't care if I'm not pure. I just want to live in a world where you can touch me. Man. Why am I arguing with him? I don't want it. This doesn't help me achieve what I do want. This is a good episode, boys. It's proof of my attachment. That's not it. It's the only thing that's been holding me up all these years. I don't know how to let go. It was something I treasured. Wait. <sighs> Man, this is just kind of sad. Who is it? Please tell me you didn't go back to her. She's gonna tell Big Brother. We decided we would both get rejected and be cleansed of our pain before summer vacation ended. Okay, that's what I was saying. They have to do something before summer vacation. And hold each other's <sighs> hands on proper dates. If you're gonna be normal, okay, cool. We should have done this much sooner than this. This took us way too long. Hey, you're only doing it because we have nothing to lose. Oh my goodness. Why are we such pathetic cowards? Shut your mouth. <laughs> Maybe. Gosh, it's over. This was such a good episode. Okay. Alrighty, honestly, in a weird way, somehow this might be my favorite episode. Because I really like Mocha as a character. She honestly seems to be like the most, she seems to be the purest person in the show, honestly. Her and Kanai. Those two seem to be the most pure. I'm just kind of confused. Okay. I kind of get... But not really. She, Mocha... Mocha is such, like, a complicated character. Like, she has, like, five different thoughts going on at, like, once in her head at, like, all times. Like, when she was with Mogi... She was like in her head having a conversation with herself while having one with him at the same time. And she came across as almost like robotic. Like, 
I'm a little confused too because there's a scene where she wanted him to just look at her once. And then when they were in bed, he told her that you haven't looked at me like once. So, and then I got kind of confused on like what was real because we saw a scene where they were holding hands, but then when she pulled away, but I think that was her pulling away in her head because she knows it can't happen, which I'm still confused by because I don't quite understand why it can't work. Out of all the girls I've seen in this show, she's definitely the best. She seems to be the most pure-hearted by far out of everyone I've seen so far. Like, she seems like an actual good person. You know what I mean? So, I don't quite understand why <laughs> Mogi can't just be with her. She actually wants you. Hanabi is over here cheating on you <laughs> with some guys that she doesn't even barely know. Like, I, I just don't get it. Why can't he just be with her, Mocha? I just don't quite get it. And he says he can't go any further with her for himself. But I don't, is it because he keeps seeing, he, like, he's picturing Akane still? Is that what's going on? I don't know. But yeah, this episode makes me really like Mocha. I think she is my favorite character now. Probably just alone the fact that she's like, the most normal person here I would say Kanai but we like I feel like he's had like five sentences this entire show so far in this one episode Mocha has had more dialogue than he has the entire show so far but then we had like a little side plot where well, it wasn't really a side plot it was from last episode kind of where Hanabi was with uh I forgot his name what was his name Tara Uchi she was with Tara Uchi and he was just trying to bang her the whole time, but he she doesn't want to. But it's like, why are you with him? That whole plotline makes no sense to me. Isn't she doing this? It's one of two reasons, right? It's to get back at Akane, making her jealous of you knowing that you're currently dating someone that she was dating too, kind of? Or is it like, she's trying to date someone like who likes someone else to see if she, like I, I just don't quite get it why is she dating Tara Uchi right now it just doesn't make any sense like I, I don't honestly I don't understand the whole side plot really at all but this episode was really pretty and really pretty music and scenery I think this was my favorite episode it was just so pretty like it was really good and what's weird is my favorite episode happens to be the least scummy of the episodes, if you think about it. It was just like, it felt like a wholesome date, you know? No side shenanigans besides the Hanami bit. Like, if you cut that part out, I know it's making me, I know this is making it seem like I hate Hanabi or I don't like her. It's not that. And I'm glad she realized it this episode. She's confused and she's not sure why she's doing what she's doing and this isn't her. And I agree 100%. The way she's acting is completely against how she should be acting. So I hope she goes back to normal. But even when she was normal, she still is in love with her brother. So it's like, no matter how normal she is, she's still weird. <laughs> Everyone in this show is weird. It's like, I just wish we had a show of Mocha. Everyone else in this show is whack, boys. You know what I mean? I don't know. But at least... I said this like two or three episodes ago. Since summer vacation is about to start, they won't have any time to tell the ones they love how they feel. So they're going to do it. You know, tell them. So this is going to be interesting because I, I don't know. I almost feel like Akane is going to agree maybe to Mogi to get to Hanabi somehow. Maybe? I don't know. I Maybe Big Brother will, like, say okay or agree with Hanabi, but I kind of don't think so. I, I just don't know. And then if they do both get rejected, is Hanabi and Mogi just going to be, like, together now? I mean, that's pretty much it. I think Mocha is left-handed, so that's cool. 
And yeah, I think she's my favorite character. Sinai was one of my favorite characters, but then she ended up being one of the weirdest characters in the show. We did get one kind of weird, like, off thing about Mocha, is that she knows when she cries, she'll basically get what she wants. But then, which I'm cool with, is that she says that she'll stop that, and she'll be real from here on out. Which is cool. I'm cool with that. So, yeah. I guess I'm in here. Best episode so far, in my opinion, I'm pretty sure. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.